Alrighty, welcome to another 70 series Land Cruiser because that's what we do. And we are going to start this one and one more outside, which is a sandy one, kind of at the same time. So it's getting a little bit wild towards the end of the year. Christmas is fastly approaching, which is just nuts. I think it's like eight weeks till Christmas or something. Anyway, blabbering. So we got Josh's car up on the hoist. We are literally just about to start putting a Leaf GVM in this one. So it is a 3900 kit, which will get you track corrected rear end and all that. Then once we've done that, it'll come down on the ground. We're doing ARB bar work. We're doing full stereo get up. We're doing child restraint system in the back with our rear wall system and all that type of stuff. So he'll be all on like Donkey Kong. And then we got Matt's car out the front, which is the sandy one. And that's getting color coded ARB bay, bay, bay work, bar work as well. That one is getting a four inch coil conversion done. So we're chipping and changing between things. I've still yet to finish a vehicle that I've got here which needs to get done before I can get started on that. But the boys are going to be starting this and Matt's car. Matt's car has got a full interior get up that's happening. So we're going to strip that so we can do sound editing to then get the interior in. Oh, it's just pandemonium. And then it's just, yeah, stuff's going everywhere, but it's great. It's so great. As you can probably tell, I'm just like ah, freaking out. Christmas is coming too close and I've got no time. Well, I feel like I've got no time. I've got time, but Oh man, I'm freaking out today, eh? Whew. It's nuts. But it's great. Thanks guys, everyone, to all you people who are bringing your cars to us. I love building them. It's freaking cool. Anyway, I'm going to stop jibber jabbering. As you can see, Josh's one has the Norworld get up on it. Matt's one's got a genuine tray on it. It's not too bad um, to do the core conversions with a tray on it. It's obviously way easier if they're not on it, but we can get around it, it's no big deal. Josh's one's gonna be very easy because it is a leaf setup, so there's no cradle going in there or anything like that. So we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna stop blabbering at you and try my darndest to film as much of this as I can as we go. So let's do it and I'll stop talking. I know we haven't obviously been bringing you guys along very much on these builds so far because I have been under the pump doing other things at the same time. So anyway, enough blabbering. Ta-da! Leaf GVM going in. The rear's in. Warning's done it. The front's, the front's in, isn't it? He's like, yeah, as if it's not. Front's done as well. We've got the J-Max Pro Series shock in this kit. This is the finish that the arms come in originally, and I actually really like it. The finish is SA5 Gold. That is what they come in. I really like that colour. Anyway, so the front's done. He is getting braided lines as well with this kit. That is an added extra, isn't that correct? It is, unless you're a 4200. Same with the radius arms. Oh, well, it's a 2 to 3, so technically. <laughs> There's... Once you start going above two inch, 
you get more bits and pieces to obviously make that work properly. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. So it's done. The front's in. The rear is almost in. Well, it's in. Well, it's in. It's just not... You wouldn't want to drive down the road like this at the moment because you can't because there's no tail shaft. Things fall off. And yeah, things would fall off. So now it's just put the brake lines on, shocks on, put all the wiring back in, and hey ho, what do you know? Ta da, it's finished. Drive shaft. And um, we're gonna go road test it after that. Well, actually, I think we're waiting on some wheels and tyres, but. Load rated rims and tyres. Because we have upped this to 3900 GVM. So that's what's happened on these two cars. Are we filming them together? Yes, because right. that's what you told me. Okay, right. And I just do what I'm told. Let's go over here to see what Ryan's got up to on this one. Ryan, what are you doing in this one? Just fitting all the speaker cables, run the RCs to the back. Stairs. We're going to do stereo. stereos. Fully six stereos. Sound in the vehicle, as you can see. These certain levels and different levels to sound ending. This is definitely a must do feature for me for any 70 series Land Cruiser owner 78, 79, 76 don't care what it is if it's a 70 series pull the interior out sound in it you will thank me later so Josh's vehicle is now off the hoist on the G round and it is looking really good as you can see Leaf set up in this one, and we are doing a full stereo on this, which is going to be sweet. Looking forward to that. That's what I'm basically going to get started on today. Um, so, the door cards are off, so we can then put the pods on for the speakers. I am putting a child restraint system in the back of this, which will work with our rear wall panel setup. I have the same one in my car, and we're going to do that in this vehicle as well. And um, yeah, so it's progressing quite well. Then, what we have happening today as well, which is on the hoist already, is Matt's car. This one's going to get the coils though. So, Josh did the Leaf GVM in the 3900. Matt's going to do the same GVM size, but he's going to do the coils in his. So, that's what Monty is doing now, is stripping all the old stuff out. And then we're going to do that. Josh's car's yet to receive a Brown Davis tank as well, so that'll probably go in maybe today. We'll see, maybe tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's what's happening so far, so we'll keep going and show you guys what we're doing.
Well, that's it guys for another build. We hope you really enjoyed watching it come together. We certainly enjoyed putting it together. Thank you so much. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. Let us know if you got any questions and yes, comments. Yes, put in the comments below. Happy to answer anything that we might not have covered. Turn on your notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Plenty more to come from us. So uh, stick to the YouTubes and all the other social medias and blah, blah, blahs and mm -hmm. whatever. But, um, we will catch you next time we actually put a car together. Peace. You know these things from job cards? How much time do I spend making job cards, Brent? We constantly have this argument. What Amy constantly stuff? has this argument. I don't argue at all. I just do my job, you know. You don't listen, so it's not an argument. It's just Amy <laughs> saying things. He's like, what's happening on this car? And I was like, have you checked the job card? No. I know what happens then, on every car in the shed. Don't you worry. Because it's all my genius idea. <laughs>